In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to use my collage templates just like these to create your own for clients or yourself using my templates. You insert your own pictures, add and create your own text. So let's get started. First pick a template that you'd like to use and gather enough photos to be able to fill that. I've chosen mine already. Notice my layers. The top one is optional text which would be on top which you'll add later. The middle one is the actual template itself and the back one which is the bottom is just where you put your photos just to show you that they go under kind of like a picture frame. So I'm going to pick a photo. I'm going to select all. Under the select menu select all or use your keyboard shortcuts. And then your edit menu or keyboard shortcut. Copy. And then I'm going to close that. I'm going to click once on here. Make sure that I'm on the layer put photos here and I'm going to hit paste. And see how the photo is behind it. Of course there's too much of the photo but let's decide where to put it. She's too big, too small, what not. So you're going to transform under the edit menu. You're going to click transform. Hold down the shift key. If you don't it will get distorted. So step back. Hold down the shift key and you're going to drag it, close it, make it smaller. Remember the shift key keeps the proportions. Maybe cock it a little bit. All right. Move up. And notice a little bit here, because it's a black background, we could fill that with a black brush, but for the sake of speed, we'll just make it a little bit bigger. Now, this isn't going to be a problem if there's another photograph over this edge, which there will be, but you don't want to worry about that. So what you need to do is use your marquee tool and you're going to select a roughness around here and you're going to invert your selection. And how you invert, I use a Photoshop keyboard shortcut of Shift Command I, which inverts it, which is under your select menu right here inverse. However, I have to inverse again because I use the keyboard shortcut. Now, if we just hit delete, it erases everything that we don't want outside of the photograph that we've selected. And there you have it. Okay, move on to another photo. I like this one. Select all. I'm using keyboard shortcuts. Copy, close, and paste again. And we'll put this one here. Select, la da 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 da. I'm going to put that there. There's a little bit of black here, so once again, I'm going to use my marquee tool. I'm going to select, then I'm going to inverse, and I'm going to delete, which basically gets rid of all that excess. And you keep going until you're full. Now's the time that you would add your optional text. If you or your client wants to add something sweet, you use your own text font. Uh, they are copyrighted, so that's why they're not included. I've already got them here. As you can see, I'll turn them off. Your, your layer will say put uh, optional text here. So you'll hit the T key or T on your menu here and just click. Choose the right font, your size and all that stuff and your color. And then you'll just type sweet baby girl, blah, 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 whatever. Enter. Your move tool, you'll move it wherever you want. Hit the V key or use your move tool. Double click it to increase the size up and down. Okay. It's going to be different slightly in each version of Photoshop that you might want to use, but either way, move it around, put whatever you'd like, and there you go. One other option you can do with a template like this, let's say I wanted this middle to be solid to have writing on it. Um, I'd make a new layer right here in your menu. Click. Looks kind of like a sticky half peeled up. And then you'll go back to your marquee tool, rectangular, or just type the letter M. I'm going to select an area. Now we're underneath that. So whatever we pour from the paint bucket is going to stay behind there but be over the picture. Let's just choose black. Color picker, black, G, and 
you're going to paint fill. Oh, it's on gradient. Sorry, paint bucket. There we go. Hit the M key again to get out of there and click on the outside. Then you're going to do text again. However, let's choose white text. And you're going to say Anna age one. Cute toes, all that good stuff that you want to put a poem maybe. And you can transform that the same if you'd like or just resize it. One example is something like this. The patch was filled with white so that you didn't see that it was a box. So a little poem for the child without all the other text. So your creativity is actually endless with this. So just some options for you. Thank you for watching my tutorials. Hopefully this has helped your creativity and helped you use my products and other products that you may come in contact with. If you need ideas, feel free to go to my website, adorableshots.com. You can also look for more tutorials and more uh, digital products from me at creativephotographybackgrounds.com. Thank you.